Wi-Fi, you can turn that on. Once you turn on Wi-Fi, you can go to this thing here and it'll allow you screen mirroring. See that? You can screen mirror on the device. So you can transfer data through Wi-Fi with that. Um, this allows you to rotate the device if you like, and that is Bluetooth. This is cloud syncing. You can take a screen capture, you can search stuff, and this pops up your settings. I like to turn most of the stuff off because it does allow the battery to last longer. So yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with this thing. I've had it now for almost three months. Oh my God, awesome. It has been absolutely great. It's a great product. It has been absolutely awesome. You can see I have a number of folders now. These are all notebooks, except for uh, raw graphics. That's um, that's a drawing program. I have only tried like one or two little things with that. The main reason I got it was for work, but you can see I've used it personal life, hobbies, home life, miscellaneous. Uh, demo stuff is anytime I'm trying to demo something out before I start using that uh, feature. One of the best things I like about this thing though is uh, what you can do with uh, PDFs. So the PDFs are in the documentary. Uh, exports or anything you're exporting. My styles are all your templates, your custom templates. Uh, notes are your regular notes. Screenshots are exactly what you think they are. And inboxes if you have email. Document, this PDF document into um, the super note. And let me tell you, it works really good uh, as a way to mark up PDFs. It's a great tool for marking up PDFs. Um, keywords. I did not keyword anything, but I do have a bunch of bookmarks, as you can see. I also have a lot of annotations. Uh, so it's going to take a while for them to load. I have four pages. And then if I add the little star marker, I have even more. <laughs> I have even more. Okay. Um... Highlights. It also tracks all your highlights. Look at that. Um, really cool. And so if you don't know how to use this, uh, so this little thing up at the top here, that tells you which ones you're in. Okay, so you can switch between them. This one here is like your little digest. You have pens. So these are different pens. I'm not sure if you've ever even seen the pens, but you can change your thickness and all sorts of stuff. That first one's like a felt tip. The second one's kind of like a ballpoint. And the third one's a marker, which you can use for highlighting. But they do have a special highlighter tool. So if you take this tool here, and I'll just fill in one of these here. Let's see here. Oops. Let's try that again. You see the highlights? I'm just highlighting that one thing. And so the first thing there is literally highlight or underline or a digest or a note. So highlights what you think it is. It just highlights. We can underline. See that? This one here we can say we want to put a digest. So then it does those little brackets and then you just click on it. And you can fill in like... Um, this is info. All right, I'm just gonna put anything, but you can see you can even draw. You can do anything you want there for your digest. And to ever see it there, you can get it there. You can also get the digest by going down, swiping down off the side here. You see that little thing that says digest, you can get them that way too. I don't use my quick thing over here very often. I only use it for web links. There is a web browser tied to the Supernote, but you need to use web links, so I just use web links to open up and access a certain web web stuff. Um, what other one did we try here? There is another one we can do. This is just like a regular note, and it's a typed note. So you can either use the the typing thing here, or you can go to this little thing right here, and now you can do it in handwriting. So you can um, go like. Hello world. And I'll convert it over to text. See that? But if you want to do a nurse space, you're going to have to sometimes hit that little space bar. Let's see if it converts all of it. It does. See? Perfect. Huh? Do you love that or what? Uh, really cool. You can do that. But sometimes you do have to hit that space bar. Um, it has erasers. So you have a bunch of different things that you can erase. It only erases stuff that you have filled in. So like, uh, you also have a, like, a, a, like here, if we went, 
This is another type of eraser it has where you can just go all the way around. That's the best eraser I like right there as a selector as well. So if we want to say, oops, so I'm going to take our selector, we can do this. And you can see that we can either make it a keyword, copy, paste, or there's not as many things as you can do in the notes. Uh, these are for gestures. I'm not going to be doing that here. And then you have a whole slew of more stuff. Look at that. You can add keywords. You can add or remove bookmarks. You can trim. You can contrast. Now, trimming is making it so, like, if you have a, a PDF. Now, let's go. This one's already trimmed. If I go into my other PDF here. Let's see. Well, this one I must have already trimmed as well. Here, let's go here. We can try this on here. I think I already trimmed it, though. So you see there, if you think there's too much white space, you can make it so there's less. And so when you're on your page, it will, it will be shrunken. So we can, like if you want to like maybe do that, we hit adjust. Oh, it actually can auto adjust it for you. I don't like that. It gets it a, a little too close. Um, but if you want to save, you can come back here and save and look at now it's, it's bigger. It's bigger in your face. So that's how the trim works. Is there anything else that we can do on this particular one? Contrast is just what you think. If you want to, if the if if the background is not bright enough on your screen, you can improve the contrast. So you can see that's where I have mine right now. And export means you can literally export this as a PDF. So uh, we can take a look at that. So here you go. You can do original handwriting. You can do all these different things. You can select different, uh, and it can you can even have it export with your comments and stuff intact. Really cool. Oh, and by the way, yeah, you can re you can move the toolbar anywhere you want on the on the thing here. If you want it off to the side, you can have it off to the side. I normally have it off to the side uh, when I'm doing stuff, but when I in the PDF reader, I like to have it at the top because it alerts me immediately that I know I'm in a PDF. So anytime I see it at the top. I know I'm in the PDF, and if it's on the side, I know I'm in a note. See how these things work, like, okay, I wanted to see, um, you know, the different notes. Now you can see that the because I have a high contrast for the text, it kind of blows out that picture, though. But we're not really caring about the picture here. So you can see that, yeah, you can see there are dark, and it, it comes out better, actually, on the computer screen. Um, and you can put your information, you can see I put a uh, star here. Um, you can put your notes here. You can use that highlighter stuff. Like if you want to also highlight this, maybe this is also uh, very important that we like maybe, um, let me go back there. Sometimes it doesn't take. I'm gonna highlight that. Now I have a highlight that, boom. There's a number of things that tell me, point to me at that page. And annotations are like one of the best ways because every time you write something, it notifies you what you wrote. So you can kind of like look through them and see the different things like well you can see there's a lot of writing on this one right um you can also see all the ones that have the stars so this is all all pages that have stars uh usually things with stars it's got some kind of information you need to know so yeah boom this here okay so yeah it helps you find your information faster and i really like how uh i really like how supernote does this uh pdf uh, thing here where you can even mark the highlights right oh there was the one thing right there um, I love how the fact that you can come into super note you can just bring a PDF in here and you can annotate it you can write your notes right on the PDF you can highlight you can keep digest you can keep notes off to the side it's really cool and if you need it for research or anything like that it is a really cool PDF annotation device and I'm using it on the a6 x2. Oh, and by the way, if you don't know uh, the a5 x2 uh, A5 device by Supernote is officially out. You can officially buy it today There are two different versions. There's one for two hundred and ninety nine dollars. That's for the device. That's what I paid now I did get for forty nine dollars a folio but I bought my pen at Amazon. Yeah, you don't have to pay 
50 to 100 dollars okay so that right there is about right that's how much i paid for mine that is less that's even less than the box go 10.3 so yeah um, I see a lot of people saying that, oh, I didn't get, like, I, had, I came across a fella that literally said he bought a Vywoods Mini for $429 because it was cheaper than the Supernote A6 X2 Nomad. Well, look at how much I paid for mine. E-Ink, $299. Folio case, $49. Pen, $15. You do not need the fancy pens. Are the fancy pens nice? They probably are. But do you need them? You do not need them to use the device. Any EMR style pen will work. And I've seen these as low as $7.99. Now the ones for $7.99, they're not fancy. Uh, they don't usually have an eraser or a clip like the one I got for $15. Um, but I've seen them as low as $7.99. That's really cheap. So if you really want to get into e-ink, but you don't have a lot of extra money, you can get this, and you can get something like this. You don't even need the canvas folio. I, I really like the canvas folio. I'd really recommend that you get the folio because it is really nice having it. It's like having a little book with you. But... You're not required to have that. So you could be in one of these super notes for roughly in there, 310 to about maybe say 320. You could be that low into one of these devices. And it's a really good device. It's really good for taking notes. Uh, and oh yeah, let's take a look here. We can also convert this to what? Text. Did you see that? I just converted everything we just wrote into text. One push of a button. You see how fast that was, right? Uh, and it looks like it got most of it right, right? It looks like it got most of it right. Uh, it looks like there's maybe one little typo I see in the entire page, and you can go back and you can adjust that little typo, by the way. Yeah. So I got confused with the e-ink because, look, it, it, had a, it wasn't written perfectly. Let's see if it does it again. Sometimes it will fix it. Boom! Boom! I mean... That is so awesome. So you can do that with almost all your notes, which I love. That's one of the reasons I love this device is uh, that. Uh, something else that they recently added is if I click on this header area and hold down, you see that? It allows me to change it if I want to. You can change a lot of stuff. So yeah, that is the Nomad. You can do these screen captures yourself. It's that little, that little thing right here. See, I'm kind of hovering right there. Turn that on along with the Wi-Fi. Now, when you do turn it on, it does decrease the uh, battery really fast. My battery has decreased 10% in less than 10 minutes. Yeah. Their little super note uh, website. That's their little Manta. Yeah. I mean, I don't really have this set up to view it this way. I mean, I could. But I didn't really make this video to go and look at their website or their new tool.